a lot, a lot, a lot. Brothers and sisters, peace be upon you all. I pray you're all doing well. Me. Not doing so great, but we thank God we're, we're still alive, we're still here. You know, the sun is still shining, it's another day. Another day zero. Another one. Man, why do I keep coming back to day zero? Why do I keep doing this to myself? How much do I want to keep doing this pornography and masturbation thing, man? How much? How many times? How many relapses are going to be enough? You know? How many times am I going to give in and listen to that voice that's talking about, oh, peek at this, go watch this music video, go scroll on Instagram, go search for this on TikTok, and then, oh, go watch that movie, and then, ah, well, it's, you dirty things up enough. Might as well go back to the full-fledged hub. Might as well go back to the hub and go from there, because your, your streak is dirty, this is filthy, nastiness. Like I'm extremely addicted. Even after all the streaks and all the woo, you know, you're okay, you've, you've done a month, you've done two months, done, some, done three, you were booted past 90 days, how many times? You've gone eight months before. Wow, eight months, lovely. So the desire is still fierce. After everything, it's still extreme addiction, it's still a daily, like you just, why am I still fighting myself? I'm here trying to give people advice and motivation and encourage people how, how to come out of it. And I, I just feel like a failure, like an absolute failure. You know, that same desire is just there burning within me. Like even now, the voice is, is like, why are you starting again? Go and indulge, go binge some more. You can always start your streak again later. You're already on zero anyway. Who cares? You're on zero. You may as well remain on zero for a while. You know? Like I'm going to be turning 30 soon. In a few months, I'll be 30. I'll be 30 years old. And I've been trying to quit this since I was 15. It's nearly 15 years fighting, you know. I have been addicted since I was 11. When is this going to end, you know? That's more than half my life has just been consumed by pornography. And even now, it's still, things are still looking so bleak. They're looking, I'm, I'm really, I, I want to be hopeful. I want to hold on to that hope. I want to say never again. I want to say that it's done, but how many times have I said it? You know, how many times? Like, how do I become that guy for whom never again is an absolute fact. It's true, it is done. Like, I, I, I see people, I've spoken to people, I've even helped people, and I see them. They're on a, wow, you, they're on a year plus streak or two years. People are happily married now. You know, people have the addiction behind them, and I'm still here. I'm still in the pit on literally like a few, how many hours? What, 14 hours right now. You know, 13, 14 hours right now. How do I become that guy? That's literally just never again, no more, no more PMO. It's never worth it. Because it is never worth it. It's such a regret. It doesn't matter. All these thoughts about, oh, there's new videos out. I look at the new stuff and, and it, I'm grossed out. And so I go back to the old stuff which I quit in the beginning anyway, like I knew the old stuff was there and I still said no, you know, 
I am I'm still watching, going back to watch the same videos I watched when I was 14. Like 15, 16 years ago now, you know? I feel like I haven't grown up at all. Like, like I'm still stupid and, and, and reckless and making the same dumb mistakes again, following the exact same pattern of re of addiction or whatever of, of failure or the same mistakes like literally it's all this ooh peeking slowly slowly sullying dirtying things up until it's like well you've, you've looked at enough now this is this is not a clean street this is nastiness what is this how can you say never again and you've done all this stuff so you might as well do you might as well take the plunge and go there anyway and then just feeling like i want to jump off a roof you know, it's horrible. But I keep doing this. And it's like, is the pleasure that I'm getting from it worth all this pain? And it's not. It's really not. So why do I keep doing it? And it's like, what am I fighting for? You know, I this this so. Just a few days ago, I was so much happier. I was so much happier. Now I just I feel miserable. I feel depressed. I feel ashamed. Social anxiety. You know. It's a mess. It's a mess. Like I wanna have that connection, that relationship with God, with my family, with my friends. I'm going to be working on businesses, multiple businesses that I build up, you know, to be reaching that point of, of financial freedom, you know, to be working on things that I'm actually passionate about, to leave the job behind, to to be in, in top physical shape and, and not overweight and binging and binging on junk food and PMO and not wasting my time on, on garbage and you know I hope my mother retire you know support my siblings be in a, a stable frame of mind as a, a, to, to actually look for a wife and get married and, and have a family of my own you know this this addict person is not capable of that right it's, it's a mess man it's a mess and I'm just trying to think like what what can I do in order to get out of this in order to change things like I'm here I'm I don't know, okay I've read easy peasy I've read power over pornography I've read rational recovery I'm reading the freedom model right now it's like all these books and ideas and strategies and if i've done all the ula that you do you do push-ups when you get urges and i've done the oh you know go for a walk and i've done the call a friend the, yesterday when i relapsed I, I spoke to two friends one of them was a zoom call and i still managed to you know and in the end i didn't even put up much of a fight against the urges it's like what am i doing you know, it's time to, to go back to the basics. Whatever there is that I need to learn, I need to learn. I'm going to learn it. I want to learn it because I want to be the guy. I want to be that guy who says never again and means it and sticks to it and accomplishes it and never again becomes never again. And let the years pass on. Whatever it is I need to learn, I'm going to do it because this is, this is not life. And even right now, right now, the voice is there and it's saying, go back. It's saying, well, you're on zero anyway. Go and binge. Nah. But here I am. I'm making this video. I'm making a new start. And that's what I'm going to choose to take courage in. And that's where I'm going to choose to put hope in. Nah. There can be an end to this. But yeah, um, another day zero video, another new start. Tomorrow, God willing, be day one.
brothers and sisters, gotta remind myself that we can actually do this. If you can quit for a day, you can quit for a lifetime. So we can all do this. Peace.